Hi guys, Mike here. Uh, John 14. Uh, the disciples are out on the lake. Um, and during the fourth watch of the night, verse 25, uh, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. Interesting to remember that. They cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Then Peter said, uh, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. And we'll pick up on that in a minute. But the interesting thing is this. Take courage, do not fear. It's almost like courage and fear can't exist in the same space. You have to decide if you're going to take courage or if you're going to let fear come in. But they can't coexist in the same space, is, is what I'm saying. So it's interesting that they saw Jesus, they were terrified, in fear, and Jesus said, no, 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 take courage. Okay, so that's that's the first point. Then Peter, one of the things we love about Peter is he just speaks from overflow. Um, you know, out of the heart comes the overflow of our life, really. What's on the inside flows out. And good old Peter, you know, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come. He says, you know, if that's you, just tell me to come. And Jesus said, well, come on then. Okay, come on. Um, but it's interesting. Jesus said to all of them, come. How many were in the boat? Go back, have a look. Only one responded, and that's Peter. Um, it's like uh, with, with the kids, you know, when they're doing stuff on their bike and stuff, and they say, oh, I'm going to jump over that, that ramp or whatever, and you go, okay, okay. And, and part of you goes, yeah, come on, you can do it. And um, it's the same with Jesus. Peter said, if it's you, tell me to come. And Jesus went, okay. And you know what? The Holy Spirit is saying to us, okay. And that's, you know, we always look at the scripture through the lens of failure. We see Peter take seven or eight steps and he sinks because he takes his eyes off Jesus. We know that. But what about if we looked at that story from the lens of courage? All the disciples were spoken to, but only one got out of the boat. Only one walked on the water. It's interesting, only two people in history, in recorded history, have walked on the water, and that was one of them right there, Peter. It's interesting, too, that although Peter sunk, the Lord saved him, but Jesus never condemns him. He doesn't say later on, man, what a failure you are. You tried something and you failed. There's another... Oh, there's other aspects of that, but I'll just leave it there. Anyway, grace, peace, lots of love, and um, take courage today. Don't take fear. Push fear back. Take courage. Step out of the boat. See ya.